Hey, feel I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money that say stick up. She picture perfect, so I told him I'm a flicker. Feel I'm in the mood for a change up. I leave the city and return with my change up. They got amnesia, don't remember how they played us. They wanna knock me down, but somehow I just stay up. Straight to the stage, they love me. love me I understand they hungry But please don't hate, that's ugly I've been sliding, shaking, moving I've been popping in my city well, okay. Shawty say she love the way we do it Do it with me I be too turned up to ever give a fuck I ain't come to argue, let a nigga fuck They been talking pennies, I need bigger bucks About to catch a flight, I need to switch it up Got that black boy joy, might do my dance on me Take no disrespect, might put my hands on him Hit his chicken, now she wanna marry me But she gon' need some closure and some therapy Came back to the city with my bank account on F Giving rappers hell, I know they happy that I left Hit the south in winter, I just put down my deposit 82 degrees, I left that jacket in my closet Girl, I'm in the mood for a switch up I hit the function, hit the rose right till I hit up I hit the stage and leave with money that say stick up She picture perfect so I told him I'm a flicker Bill I'm in the mood for a change up I leave the city and return with my change up They got amnesia, don't remember how they played us They wanna knock me down but somehow I just stay up hey, look. Came in with the what's that? What the Left out with the who she? Yeah. Laying game like 2D, I been kicking shit like Bruce Lee okay. Margarita to the brim tip, black denim need a slim fit yeah. Same people that I flex with, be the ones that I'm in the gym with I'm a living legend, you a dead cause, and I'm dead ass, no I'm dead right Leave her early, but I'm her night, long and short to keep the head right Teed up out in Malibu, got sand all in my good shoes okay. Press a nigga with the pessimism, but I only came for the good news I am the show that they came for, hitting the target I aim for We been discussing the contract, just telling they get what they paid for I am not fucking with poverty Really it started to bother me I need the yacht with the property They come with the view that you gotta see Came up from the basement Hit the rooftop with a passion Bad bitch with some good credit And a good sense for the fashion Dope blowing with the left hand Ass gripping with the right hand Uber share to the airport I'ma hit you back with my flight Bill, I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function Hit the rose right till I hiccup I hit the stage and leave with money that say stick up She picture perfect so I told him I'm a flicker Bill I'm in the mood for a change up I leave the city and return with my change up They got amnesia, don't remember how they played us They wanna knock me down but somehow I just stay up Alright guys, before we get into how to build this base I'm gonna go over the overall build cost here um, obviously, as you guys see on the right side of the screen, this is the build cost here. Um, the build cost is going to vary a little bit, depending if you guys that you upgrade the total uh, outside of the base two sheet metal, and if you guys build the turn wall. Um, one thing to keep in mind though, the overall build cost is with all the deployables placed. Um, obviously, you guys don't have to do the outside of the base all sheet metal. You guys can put it in stone, and obviously, um, some of the inside can be upgraded the sheet metal in high quality depending on what you guys needs are this is just how i would normally build it so please do keep that in mind um obviously you guys can change the roof up here you guys can change up the open core and the inside the core as well so um that is all that and here's the total upkeep for 24 hours um as you guys can see the metal phrase is quite a lot like i said though you guys can actually reduce that number just by making the outside of the base and such to actual stone here so please do keep that in mind when you guys build this. This is not a cheap build at all. So um, without further ado, let's get into how to build a base. Alright guys, so what we're going to do now is we're going to be building the starter base here. So go ahead, find a, sp a spot that you guys want to build. Build a circle here, just like this. And on any one of these triangles here, we can actually go ahead and put a door in. Now, for a starter base, um, you guys don't want to have a door here. This is going to add to the airlock. And make sure we add a window here. And the reason that this is uh, in stone here... It's, this is optional. Um, if you guys want, you guys can actually leave this door here. Or later on in the build, um, I would actually change this out for a garage door. So for the time being, for the starter, we're going to leave that right there. And then what we can do next is we can upgrade all this to a high fall. 
No, and as you guys can see, uh, when I build this, I'm going to be building this in its final form here. Uh, obviously, you guys don't have to do that. So, please do keep that in mind as well. And we can add this. This is going to be the way up right there. And we can go like this here. And this is where your TC is going to go for the time being because this is uh, a starter base, like I said. So, TC can go right there. Later on, uh, you guys have to put um, furnaces in there. So, And then we can put furnaces in here. And then these are going to be your loot rooms. We can go ahead and add door frames all around it here. And then I would recommend having these ones in the center here for your sheet metal. Just so it gives it more stability. And then we can leave these in sheet metal. And then we can upgrade these ones to high qual here. Same for the center. Just like that. We need another armored wall right here. And we can put two sheet metal walls right on the side there. And that right there is going to be your starter base. Alright, next up what we're going to do is the external TCs and the compounds. So where the squares just go off the side just like this. And place two triangles like this and you go eight squares out with a triangle on the end. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Place triangle. We can break out these and we can come back with half moons. And once we get to right here, upgrade this one right here. Oops, sorry, this this one right there, not this one. So upgrade this one and then we can break out these. Just like that. Now if you guys want, you guys can leave this twig here or you guys can break it, it doesn't really matter. We need to add a door frame on top and a wall just like this. Next up, we're gonna come from here. We're gonna go four squares out. And on the fourth one, you can uh, raise it and upgrade that. We can get rid of these. We need to place a circle right here. Just like this. Place two frames up. And place one right here for now. Come to the raids foundation and add frames all around it. Add frames like this. Now before you put this one right here, you have to build this right here. And then you, uh, we can connect it just like that. So that's our Y gap right there, and then this is the middle the multi TC part. Next up, we're gonna come right here, add a temporary square, uh, square, and then two triangles, add walls around it, just like this, and this is gonna be your way in. So go ahead and put that, and the one straight back is where your TC is gonna go. So make sure you place the TC. Add your jump up for your China wall, just like this, and we can steal the roof off here. Just like that. And we can add um, a door up here for your china wall. Just like that. Next up, we're going to come back down here. And we're going to come on top of here. And this is how you're going to place the, the ramp there. Just go up there, press R, and it's easy to place it there. Next up, come inside, place this ramp here. This can be a twig or wood, it doesn't really matter. And that's going to be your multi TC and your externals. Next up, we need to add. The foundation for the china wall, so I'll place two triangles on either side, and then four squares with the triangle on the end. Same thing for this side, just like this. Now, in order to place the gate here, uh, you guys might place it too close or too far. So what I like to do, just place it right in the middle here, and then just go back a little bit like that. Same thing for all the other sides, and then when you place this wall here, come to uh, these two triangles here, look right in the middle, and then you just walk back until. You actually can place the wall just like this. That's one. You do the same thing. Make sure it's connect back up, and then just walk forward until you can place it as close as you can. Just like that. And then, last but not least, you just need to connect these walls just like this. So that's your external TCs and your compound. Next up, we're going to be working on the second, third, and the fourth floor. So let's come to the second floor here. And we're going to build all these walls in high qual here, just like this. We're going to come inside here, and we can add walls and all the triangles, just like this. And then the one that's straight across right here, uh, this is going to be the jump up right here. And then we can add these two right here, and this one here. The rest of these are going to be loot rooms, just like this. And st same for this side here. Oops. So we can make these loot rooms. 
We can break the low walls and we can add the door frames around it. Obviously the ones inside I'd recommend leave the sheet metal again. We can seal the roof off. Just like this. Now where the doors are here, this one's gonna be a high qual. Just for um that's where your TC is gonna go. The rest of these can be sheet metal. Minus that one. This is where the jump up's gonna be, remember. So since this is your jump up, we need to add walls all the way around here again. This wall is gonna be sheet metal. And we need a wall here. This is gonna be a bedroom right here. So put your locker and your beds in there. This is where your TC is gonna go. So make sure you can put your TC in here. Now, uh, the thing to keep in mind though, is when you do this, uh, make sure that you guys break your twig here if you move your TC up. So let's break that. And then obviously we can come inside here, move your TC up. And we gotta make sure that we put um, the window here. Oops, this would be a stone. Once that is done, make sure we come back down here. And we gotta reconnect these. Just like that. Once that is done, um, you can actually have a triangle here. So what I like to do is go like this. And then you can actually just place a triangle here for the time being. Just like that. So make sure you have a triangle here. And we need to add a... Jump up should be right here. This will be another bedroom. We're gonna have a wall here. And do we have another bedroom right here? Jump up. And we can close all the stuff just like this with some double frames. And then Put the um, window frame there, and it should look just like this. Once that is done, we can go ahead and seal the roof off yet again. Now this one right here, where the TC is, that one's going to be high qual, and then the other ones are going to be all sheet metal. Just like this. And then this floor is going to be all sheet metal, so we can come up here, add these just like this. Cheap metal roof here. Now this part's optional. Uh, you can either have the doorway into uh, the bedroom be here, and I'll show you on how you, uh, you guys can do it differently here. So you can either have the door here, or you can have the door over here. It doesn't really matter. But if you uh, if you do like this, this side is gonna have a window here, and then there's gonna be a door here, and then a wall here. This is going to be a locker right here, and a locker here, and it's going to be just like this. So, like I said, there's two different ways you guys can do this. So, if you guys want, you guys can do it like this, and then obviously make sure you add your door frames in here though. So, either have the door here, or you can put the door over here. Doesn't matter which way you do it, that's exactly the same. Once that is done, we can go ahead and seal the roof off here. And that's the second floor and um, the two bedroom floors. Alright, uh, next up, what we're going to do is do both sets of inner peaks. So where the, the front door is here, we need to add a square. And then try and go off the side here. And we're going to do three sides that has entrances here. And the best way to find it is this is the front door, so we don't don't put our entrance here, and we just add one right here in, instead. And this can be a uh, sheet metal or stone, doesn't really matter. And then everywhere else is gonna have a wall. Just like this. These are gonna be um, doorways all the way around, and we can just build this part up. This can be sheet metal or stone, doesn't really matter. So build it up to there. And we can build these walls up to the same height. And these are going to be the inner peaks. So you can add it just like this. 
Next up, we need to come back down to here to where your multi TT part is. We need to add two triangles on both sides, two squares, and on the right side, there's gonna be two triangles. On the left side, there's gonna be one. So we need to add a temporary triangle here and a triangle there. We can get rid of this one. And for here, you need to add a temporary triangle there and a square right here. We can get rid of this. We need to add walls right here to stop this one from, from this king. We, we can do that. And for here, we can connect these to connect this. And there's going to be another door frame right here as well. This right here is going to be um, walled off here. Just like this. We're going to have a jump up right here. And this right here is going to be the deep over right here. We can add door frames in here. Just like this. And we can also add some more door frames in here as well. These can be in the sheet metal. Just like this. Now we need to build these all up to the same height as this right here. So we can go ahead and we're going to do that right now. Same with these walls. These walls are going to be built up too. And then we're going to have a window right here. This window is going to be facing inwards. Just like this. And we can build these up as well. Same with the walls. And this is going to be built up as well. Oops, there we go. Add a door frame right here. And a floor here. And then we can add, add, add a half floor right here. And another door frame. This doesn't need to be sealed off right here because I'll show you why in just one second. Add another door frame here. And same for these walls here. Oops. Just like this. Temporary half floor right here. And then we can place three right here just like this. Get rid of this. And put a wall right there. Same for on these sides as well. We're going to add a ladder hatch frame right here. Make sure we add a ladder hatch in there. We can add these just like this. Now it, um, this right here is where I like to have my uh, entrance to come out. So it's going to do that right there. And we can add a door frame on these as well. And we're going to have a door right there like I said. This right here is going to be um, a square. Place a ladder hatch here. And if you guys do this correctly, you guys can stand up here, place a temporary square there, and we can place our um, ramp peaks here, just like this, and then stand up here, rotate it, and since it's in twig, you guys can just shoot that out with a bow, or um, whatever else you guys have, and we can put these here, just like this, put a floor right here, this is going to be where your jump up is. Put a floor right here, and we can enclose the rest of this right here. Add a door frame right here and right here as well. And we can steal this off here. Make sure we add some door frames in here as well. Just like that. We can encase this middle part here, just like this. Like I said, this is going to be a jump up, so make sure we add this. And we can put a door frame in here. The roof right here is all going to be uh, closed off. Like I said, that's going to be a jump up right there. And we can close this off as well. And that's going to be your inner peat downs as well. Alright, next up is going to be the open core. Uh, obviously, you guys don't have to build exactly like this. Uh, this is how I do it. So this square here, so from uh, the jump up, the second square here, upgrade this to armored. This is where our roof bunker is gonna go. So add these three walls just like this. Leave this one right here open for the time being. And I'll show you guys that uh, actually right now. So uh, there's the reason why um, I leave that open. And it's because when you put these in here, it just makes it a little bit easier. So when you add your shelf in here, Make sure you place it as far to the right as you can. And then when you add the random machine in here, 
Um, you just place it as far back as you can there. Just like this. And then you can obviously add your boxes in here as well. So the spots here, put as far back as you possibly can go. So about there. And then you can add this box here. And then if you set a box down here, then you guys can do the same thing for the top one as well. So about right there. You guys might have to mess around with it, uh, obviously to get it as far back as you guys can get it. So. We'll try right there. Perfect. Obviously it's gonna break because I got my mirror command on, but and then obviously you guys can just go ahead and put these bosses in here. Just like this. And then you guys can go ahead and actually put the wall in there. So that's why I like to do my um um bunker. And then make sure you put your roof on there. And make sure the roof is connected to this wall here. Once that is done. We can actually just go ahead, add all these walls in here, just like this. We can honeycomb this back part, just like this. Add a wall here, and this is going to be rotated towards us. We can add these walls here. We can add a temporary half floor there. We can go to this, and we can add these just like this. The center part here is all going to be just honeycombing, so we can go ahead and add that. This is going to be just like this. And this part here is going to be just like this. And this should be the other way. Just like that. This is going to be a loot room here. So we can actually go ahead and add all these walls in here. We can add a wall here as well. And this is going to be just like this. Right. We can add some more door frames in here. Now, um, one thing I do want to point out, you can either have a ladder hatch here, or what I do, is I just put an L shape there. Um, it doesn't matter, it's up to you guys. So, like I said, that's uh, what up to you guys what you guys want to do there. You guys can have a ladder hatch or an L shape stay there. But once that is done, um, we're just going to seal the center part here in the high call, just like this. We're going to leave this open, member, And then, for back here, the way that you uh, close this off is connect this to this wall right here. We're going to add walls here. Oops, not there, sorry. Just like this. And this is going to be a half floor here. We could add that part there. Come to the center here. Build a half floor thing up just like this. We can add this. And we can seal this part off just like this. Add the windows. And this right here, just like this. This is gonna be a bedroom here, so we can add these floors here. This one doesn't need to be there. Just like this. Right, and this will be like this. Like I said, these are gonna be bedrooms. So, we can add lockers in here, just like this, put a, oops, a door from there, make sure you guys do not put a door from in the center here, otherwise the bunker will not open, so please keep that in mind. And this is going to be a jump up right here, so we add that, put a wall here. And some more frames here. Just like this. We can close this off yet again. Just like this. Oops, not high quality. Sorry. This is to be a stones. And we can seal this off just like this. This is going to be another bedroom, so we can add lockers in here. This one, we can actually put uh, the frame in here, just like that. We can add a wall here. Just like this. We can put these frames in here. This is the add stability. 
And we can add these walls on the outside here. Just like that. Next up, we can add this here. And I like to seal the center part off here in high qual. Uh, you guys can put that in sheet metal if you guys want to. And close that part here. And I believe this is going to be the way up right here. Just like this. We can seal this part off here as well. Make sure we add a wall here, by the way. And seal this up. Add doors right here. And seal the roof off there. Seal these off right there. And we can add floors on these as well here. And that's the open core complete. Alright, next up what we're going to do is the shooting floor. But before we do that, I just wanted to point out that this jump up here. Um, if you come up from the bedrooms here. Uh, that's that you're going to be right here. Not uh, back right here like I had it. So, uh, just please keep that in mind right there. So, like I said, we're going to be doing the bedroom here. So, come to the center here. And I'm going to add this in honeycombing. Right here. We can seal this off here. We can add walls right here. We can seal that off. And then if you come up here, make sure you place these ramps right there. Just like that. And that's also going to be our roof piece there. Um, next up, what we need to do is we need to do the Y gap here. So, we can add these frames here all the way up. To right there. We can come down here, add this one here, and this there. And we need to add frames on all these. All the way up. Just like that. Same for here. And this can be built up here. And this as well. Just like that. And this side here. Now I know this is uh, a lot of frames here, but you gotta remember that you guys don't want to make sure your um, you got don't want to have your shooting floor collapse in here. So, and then this is gonna be built up here. Now this part here, uh, it is a little bit different than how you actually are gonna have it. It's not gonna go all the way up here. It's gonna go up to this height here. Place that there or a low wall there, and we place these here. Place two windows here. Place another half floor. And we can place these like this. Place the windows here. Oops. Sorry, facing this way. And we can just add all this here. Now, you guys need to have um, this triangle be here, or uh, you can have it here. And I know we would have it here, so. So, just like that. Add two doors there, and we can add this here. Oops, no, those don't go there. Put windows here, and then we can put the doors here, and seal this off there. We can add windows all around here, just like this. We can come inside here. This is going to be a jump up, so make sure this is a jump up right here. Just like that. This is going to be another bedroom. So we can put a locker in here. Oops. Like this. That's a jump up. Just like that. And we can add these doors here. Now what I would recommend doing here, uh, just to have some more stability, add these frames here. Then put these ones right here as well. And then I add these here. Just to give us some more stability for the roof there. And we can add some in here. 
Now we can actually go ahead and steal most of the roof off here. Starting from the inside here, just like this. And we can add these here as well. Remember to leave this open, that should be the jump up. Now I put this um roof on this side here, just to alternate this uh gap right there. So if you guys want to do that, you guys can do that as well. And cut this here. Now you can see this hand placed there. Make sure you place these on the side first, and then you can place this. Just like this. Now once that is done, we can come to the center here. Add this here. And then put a uh, honeycomb in there. Now on the right side here, we've got to add a, a half floor. Otherwise, we ain't going to have enough stability. And then put two low walls here. We can add the roof on top here. And then this can be a twig there. This is going to be your jump up here. So put uh, windows all the way around just like this. Put a window here. And then I like to add an airlock here. That's up to you guys if you guys want to do that. Close that off just like this. And then come here. Add two roofs here like this. And then the center one here, I like to, to add a triangle there. And for here, this is where you're going to have a turret. So make a little half floor there just like this. And if you guys want, um, what I like to do, I'd like to put a windmill here. I know we build this up about three, three tall here. Or two, doesn't really matter. And then you can have some windmills there. And you guys can also put some windmills back here as well. Just like this. So that's the overall base done. That's we need to do the china wall. So that's what we're gonna be working on next. All right, guys. Uh, last but not least, we're gonna be doing the china wall. Um, but before we do that, there's one thing that I kind of forgot to do here, and this is optional, of course. Um, you have to put two shop fronts here, and you can also put um, a door here, and this will add another airlock here. So like I said, this is optional. You guys do not have to do this, but I decided to have that there. But like I said, uh, we're gonna be doing the china wall. So. Um, what I like to do is add walls all the way around here, and then on this triangle here, I like to add a window there so I can see if I'm getting door camped, and then on this other one, add a, um, a door here. And if you guys want, you guys can put the, the door on this side and the window on this side, it doesn't really matter here. And then put walls there, and then right on the edge here, put a wall here, and a wall here. Place floors on top of that. Add another layer of walls all the way around here. Add walls around this part here. And then these two squares on both sides are going to be bedrooms. So you go ahead and put your beds and stuff in there. And your lockers. Um, I like to add uh, two large batteries right here. So that's what I like to do. You guys do not have to do it exactly like that. And we need a wall here. And on the third layer, we can add windows all the way around here. Just like this. Make sure we seal that off. Just like this. Add some door frames there. We need a door frame here and a door frame here. Um, also, what I like to do here is add windows here like this. So if you guys do come up, you guys don't, don't get headshot by the entry guy right away. Make sure we go ahead and put all the bridges on here. Like that. We can steal the roof off. And then we need to add floors here. Just like this, and then we can add the roof on top here. Obviously, you guys are gonna want to go ahead and put um your embrasure or not your embrasure, um your barricades on top and stuff like that. You can go ahead and put all your furnaces in. Obviously, when you do your compound and stuff like that. So, but that's the entire base here, guys. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy that. Uh, one thing I do want to point out. Uh, obviously you guys don't you guys can put your windmill towers in any spot on the roof that you guys want So just because I put them here doesn't mean that's where they have to go So please do keep that in mind But uh before I do end this video I just want to give a shout out to my thumbnail artist David If you guys want to have a thumbnail made make sure you guys go over to him and let him know that it's something you wear But without further ado guys uh, make sure you guys like comment subscribe and turn the post notification bell on and I'll see you guys in the next one